gold is paramount to having that in your investment vehicle. I think from any point in this video, take away that one because all other investments can generate you wealth, but not all investments can protect your wealth. By the end of this video, you will know how to become rich. Through my simple strategy and plan, I will be telling you in simple, easy to understand, bullet point terms, how to become wealthy. Okay, so let's get straight to the beginning and the main point of the video. Investor, me, explains how you can become rich. And no, this is not a clickbait video. I do not do clickbait videos. I want you guys to enjoy and get as much information from my content as possible. The reason for that is because when I started investing, I found it very, very hard to find content that wasn't trying to push an agenda or sell me something. So the reason I started my channel was to not only share my investment journey, but to give some truth to investing and how it really works. Now, I've had some success over my time as an investor. I'm still relatively young when it comes to long-term investing, but my strategy has been performing greatly and I'm gonna share that today with you and hopefully you can take just something away from that to give you an investment opportunity for yourself. Now, for me, I believe that investing is absolutely key to benefit your future. Now, money's not everything, of course, but let's be realistic. It does make life a hell of a lot easier. So who am I? Well, my name's Future Investments and I've been investing for two to four years now, depending on how you look at my investment portfolio. And I've had some successes by playing the long-term strategy on long-term low-risk plans. Now, how can you become rich? No fluff. So there's simple investments you can do. Now, if you're somebody that wants to get rich quick and become a millionaire overnight, then stop watching this video right now because I do not want to waste your time. Now, if we've lost anyone from that point on, congratulations, because normally the long-term investor is the winner in the long run. And first of all, that starts with the mindset. Yes, everybody wants to invest and some people will say, yes, I can have the mentality and the strength, the, the aptitude to invest on a long term plan. But can you really? Because what's so important is mindset. If you do not have the self-will and the self-control for delayed gratification, then it's really going to be difficult for you to stick to a long term investment strategy. So number one, and absolutely paramount when it comes to even just being good with your money, let alone investing on a long term plan is mindset. You need to train yourself to allow yourself to have delayed gratification, not buying these spontaneous purchases to give you that instant dopamine hit of gratification. You need to push that back and think beyond the length of your nose. You need to think of the long game, the long term plan. Now, you need to stay committed. Why do I say that? Well, of course, it's obvious, isn't it? If you jump into a long term investment strategy, and then you hop in and out, taking money in and out, or you just give up in total, then what's the point? You need to be committed. So you need to have that mindset to be able to have that delayed gratification. But you also need to be committed, you need to be consistent. And that brings me on to the next point, consistency. Those two previous points, mindset and commitment, are fantastic. But without consistency, they might as well be pointless. Consistency is absolutely paramount to achieving great success throughout one life. Now, it's not all about making astronomically big changes in your life and being consistent. Often when people create New Year's resolutions, they always set a huge lofty goal, which is fantastic. But not always is that ascertainable and achievable. You need to also add in some incremental goals that you know you will be much more likely to stay consistent with. And that's also the case when it comes to investing. A lot of these points are maybe quite obvious to some of you, maybe not so obvious to others. It really is important that you try to take in these points because for me, it's had an astronomical change on my own financial life. I haven't personally come from inheritance or wealth. I've had to build up my own portfolio from scratch through hard work, through delayed gratification and through, you know, consistency, mindset and commitment. 
Now, let's get on to some of the topics that are actually going to generate you wealth and bring that income to you. Well, first of all, you need to read more. It's so important. You need to read because that's not only going to help your mindset, but it's going to build and increase your financial intelligence. Sometimes human nature, we already think we know everything. But believe me, when it comes to finances and investing, there is always something to learn. Even experienced and seasoned investors and stackers, maybe they someone who's been investing in the stock market or precious metals, those seasoned investors, the ones that do well, are the ones that understand there's always something new to learn. And the ones that are like the saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, they're the ones that kind of fall behind and they don't innovate. They don't update. So it's really, really important to read and have an open mindset to be able to learn more for your own financial literacy. Now, when we spoke about commitments, that also means choosing your investments. For me personally, I have my top three gold index funds and passive income. They are my big top three that's going to generate me long term wealth through a low risk, long term consistent strategy. Gold, because it's the backbone of your portfolio. Gold bullion, a tangible asset, it hedges against inflation and it preserves your wealth. In case all other of your investment vehicles fail, usually gold will be that backbone of your portfolio. It will protect you in downturns. When we see the market like the 2008 recession and the financial crash or the war in Ukraine versus Russia, which dramatically affected the price of food and wheat, we saw gold spike. When there's economic turmoil, not only in the financial markets, but throughout the globe, people turn to gold. It's a wealth preservation device. It's a, it's just, it's a security form of savings. So gold is paramount to having that in your investment vehicle. I think from any point in this video, take away that one because all other investments can generate you wealth, but not all investments can protect your wealth. Number two for me is index funds. Specifically, I like having multiple different sectors in the market, specifically the S&P 500, the US economy, specifically it's North America, because it's so diverse, so large, it props up most of these multiple index funds and global index funds. It's such a strong fund that has historically proven very well in terms of performance. And I also have my own countries, the FTSE 100 for the United Kingdom. So I'm covering two aspects of the globe there, a little bit of each corner of the world for diversification to protect myself, but to also increase my chance of yielding better profits. And the great thing about index funds is it's an easy way to save money on a relatively low risk plan where you can incrementally add money on a dollar cost averaging basis and the interest you get naturally increases that pot of money. Over a long term period, you don't particularly see much happening, but over 10 to 20 years, that pot will be substantially larger than the amount you've actually invested. Now, moving on to free, the hardest investment for me personally, and it may also be for you, is generating passive income. Specifically for me, it's going to be through rental income in properties, buy to lets, HMOs, houses of multiple occupation. So there's multiple ways to generate passive income. YouTube for me is a semi passive income, but I'm talking about real passive. And that for me is properties. If you have enough money, maybe consider looking into investment properties. Not only can you build equity in the value of that property because houses usually go up in value throughout the decades, why not buy something like that that's also going to generate a passive income for you every single month. So for me, they're my top three investments that are going to generate me huge wealth over a long-term plan. How to start? Well, that's simple. You need to put your first step forward and you also need to look at your assets versus liability column. Some of you will be going, wow, that's some great advice, but I haven't got the funds to even start in one of them. So I would suggest looking at your asset versus liability column. Look at what's coming out of your bank account. What are you subscribing for? What's your you know, regular payments that are costing you money and not necessarily bringing you much joy or benefit to your life? Consider cutting those out and then you can focus on building the asset column, which is the column of generating you income. They're my top tips on how to generate huge wealth, essentially to become rich. 
Overall, in conclusion, if you do all of the above, I really believe that your financial future will be so much more abundant than it currently is right now. But don't forget, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just someone who's very much into investing and has been dabbling it for the last you know, two to four years and creating content all the time. So always do your own research. Don't take just my advice for it. Be open to others and their opinions as well. But I hope you've got something out of this video that's been very, very beneficial to you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. A big shout out to my channel members. I've just released a members only video. So my premium future investors, head over to the video section of that. You can check out that video now. Until next time, I'll see you all in the very next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.